Set your alarm, get your calendars ready because in less than five hours, the peak bloom forecast prediction for our beloved Tidal Basin cherry blossoms will be revealed. Yeah, Abby Larico getting a jump start for us this morning. She's joining us live along the Tidal Basin with what we can expect later on this morning. Abby, no doubt a lot of excitement for this prediction. Absolutely, Larry. I just could not handle the excitement, so I had to get down here early. Even though just as the sun is coming up, we are only beginning to see some of those green buds forming on these tidal blossom cherry tidal basin cherry blossoms. But in just a few hours, we will know when we can expect them to look their best. And as we know, it has been an unseasonably warm winter, and that warm weather, especially here in the late spring months, is one of the biggest environmental factors that contributes to these cherry blossoms blossoming. You've seen plenty of other varieties of flowering trees perk up along the district in recent weeks. Well, so has the National Park Service. That is another factor that goes into it. And you also have that indicator tree we've been talking about, which pretty reliably runs through the bloom cycle about two weeks ahead of the others. But no part of this is an exact science, of course, which is why you might just want to build in some loose time in your schedule over the coming month to come out here and enjoy this. I know Mike Litterist with the National Park Service, who's here this morning, you're going to be spending a a lot of time down here over the next few weeks. This is home for the next it few weeks. It is home. It is home for a lot of the district and a lot of us are looking at a possible peak bloom that's a little earlier than usual because of this warm weather. What can you tell us about that? We know that heat is what breaks dormancy in flowering trees and which drives them to, to blossom. So the fact that this has been the, I think, third warmest winter on record shouldn't come as any surprise to anyone if peak bloom occurs earlier than the average historic date of April 4th. We don't know how to dress this time of year right now because it's been crazy. Neither does that indicator tree. Tell me what's going on with that. Poor indicator tree. I mean, you just <laughs> look to last week. It was 80 degrees on Thursday and it was snowing 48 hours later. Right. And we're seeing this in the trees. Uh, the indicator tree at one point was showing four distinct phases of the bloom cycle, depending on what branches you looked at on that tree. So um, the, the warm weather, the, the dips we're seeing at night to, to really cold temperatures, uh, the trees are reflecting that. And we were talking about, too, how people are really keeping an eye on those different phases. Social media has really uh, helped that take off. You know, it's just you know, 20 years or so ago, we didn't even track the, the phases. And now it's a sort of a, a cottage industry in D.C. So trees are at phase one right now, but they are on the cusp. One more warm day, probably bump us into phase two, which is uh, the florets finally starting to emerge and being visible on the trees. Well, we know you will be on top of it. So will we. And if you want to go ahead and get your calendars out, folks, just go ahead and book off the entire Cherry Blossom Festival, which is March 20th through April 16th this year, casting a pretty wide net. So hopefully we'll be able to catch a few days of peak bloom in there. Mike, thank you so much. Anytime. Again, the announcement is happening at 11 o'clock this morning, and you know we'll bring it to you as soon as we learn more. Back to you guys. All right, Abby, thank you. You know, we made our predictions about when we think peak bloom will in fact be. I said March 23rd. Uh, that's my prediction. Oh, that's your prediction. Yeah. What's mine? 22nd. The 22nd. Okay, because you wanted to. <laughs> I just know because that's my grandmother's <laughs> birthday. Okay, okay. So that's why we're... we can share it. Well, okay. Okay. All right, because we're a team. Okay. All right, good stuff. Abby, thank you, friend. We appreciate you. All right, as Abby <laughs> said, we will stream the announcement live on our streaming platform, WUSA 9 Plus. Again, it's set for 11 o'clock this morning. We'll also send out a push alert to your phones as long as you have our free WUSA 9 mobile app downloaded to your mobile device. We also have a full cherry blossom guide on our website right now, and you can find all the events happening for the festival this year, as well as good places to view the trees. Again, that's on our website, WUSA 9.com.